Alright, when isn't Star Wars relevant? Let's take a look at how the newest movie, The Rise of Skywalker, is currently reviewing. Let's have a look. Oh, damn, it's not the worst reviewed Star Wars movie? Are you, you have to be kidding me, I actually thought it was pretty good. Maybe my taste in movies is terrible. Oh, well, well you know what was objectively good about the sequels? BB-8. Like, come on, everyone loves BB-8 and the galaxy would have been doomed without that little droid. W wait, why is it called BB-8 anyway? What what does that mean? Big ball 8? Ball bot 8? Where, where does the 8 come from? Its shape? Like, it kind of it kind of looks like the number 8, right? Wait, what am I doing? I can just I can just Google this. Wait, one sec. Oh. Yeah, it's literally called BB-8 because it looks like a figure 8. That's creative. Oh well, let's draw it anyway. So start out by drawing as good a circle as you can. You might find it useful to draw around like a coaster or a disc or something like that. If people still have discs these days, I think I have game discs, but certainly not music CDs. A lot of my music's just kind of online these days. So go ahead and draw as good a circle as you can get there and then cut it down the middle just like that so we know where the center of it is. So now that we know where the center of the circle is, we can add on the dome that is BB-8's head. Draw a line across the top there and then bring it up and over like this. Make it kind of wide, not too tall, but also not too wide. The shape's a little bit specific actually. It's kind of like half of a sphere, if you can picture that, but also kind of not quite because we've got this small slant that dips down over the uh, the body of BB-8, the big kind of roller ball that the dome sits on. Just this kind of slanted line that goes down like that. And then the rest of it is basically details. So we're gonna add a small gray rim just over this slant down here. And then along the top, there's a small white patch right in the very, very top, kind of like a bold patch really. And then there's a gray uh, stripe kind of going around here. And this is divided into little segments. So if you draw little lines around it like that, you get this kind of like idea that the dome is this sort of shape, it's 3D. So try and draw the stripes around like that. Don't do, don't give them like straight lines like this. That doesn't look quite right. If you give them this kind of angle, it goes a long way towards making the head look uh, like it's actually round. So we'll add uh, some antennae. There's a smaller antenna there, and then there's a much longer one here. It's got like a black tip at the very, very top like this. And then there's like a big camera lens over here. Leave a little bit of room underneath that silver band that we've got there because we need to draw some grooves in that kind of fit around. They're all in kind of intricate shapes. And we'll tackle that in just a moment. So there's a, there's a camera lens there and there's a much smaller camera lens here. And it looks way better if you draw just kind of like the uh, the outer rim of that, of that lens on each side. So just draw a smaller circle just within. And then there is a small circle here. I think this is where tools come out of. I can't say I'm completely sure, but it's certainly there on the reference picture, so we'll draw it in. So now for those grooves. So there's a line that comes up here, and then it kind of bends around the bigger lens, loops over this smaller camera, and then curves down into the gray band at the bottom. Coming away from this, we've got an orange band that fits around to the side of the head, and it's got kind of like a barcode look to it. So it separates into a few white stripes down here. There's a small bit here and a small bit there, just little circles of, uh, I guess, where screws would go. And then there's an orange band that comes around underneath the gray band and just kind of fits here. It doesn't quite make it to the lens, and that's because we've got a bit, of a, a bit of a line in the way, like a groove in the way, which we'll draw now. So that comes from here and it loops over the lens around like this and goes all the way down to the bottom. But from there, we link this line with it over here. And if you can, give it a bit of a curve. So again, we get this impression that the dome is uh, rounded in 3D rather than flat. And you can see some details building up already. Now, the sketch isn't going to look perfect. Just adding a few more details here, just orange bands going around it. The sketch isn't going to look perfect, but going over it with your Sharpie is uh, your, uh, your opportunity to really get it looking right. So we've got a really, really intricate pattern on the body now. So we're going to go ahead and draw that in. It's not easy, but stick with this and you'll nail it. So we'll start with the bigger shapes and then we'll tackle all the smaller shapes 
afterwards. We've got this huge orange circle on this side of the torso. It crosses over that guideline that we drew in for the very, very center of the circle just a little bit. And if you draw that circle right, you'll really kind of get that impression that the body's facing this way rather than a flat kind of look where it's just kind of facing towards the viewer. So this circle, we can draw a smaller circle inside of it because the whole circle isn't actually orange. It's more of an orange ring with some crazy kind of intricate patterns going on. So it then actually kind of takes on the form of a crosshair from like a first person shooter, um, which th those games aren't really ones I've been playing much recently. Uh, I used to really enjoy them, I just hadn't really found the time for them. And then e on each of these, there's a small circle, I guess where screws would go, just kind of fitting inside of, uh, of those little kind of parts that form the crosshair shape. So then here, this is when things get a little bit tricky. We've got this gray part that just forms this shape around there, fits in like a jigsaw, but then it goes up to about here, suddenly kind of angles in and then reaches that top crosshair shape before circling down and fitting in underneath that left one. Then we've got this kind of other shape here that ends up making the whole thing look a bit like a claw. Okay, see what I meant about it being very intricate? That just kind of maps in there. There we go. There's another kind of rectangle that's like a bendy rectangle sticking out just from that one there and a couple of smaller ones here. I'd like to say they kind of made this up as they were going along when they were designing it because there's no way all of this does something functionally. But, uh, you know, it's Star Wars and sometimes things end up a little bit deeper than we're expecting, especially when we talk about the comic books and the animated series. So, you know, who am I to judge? I'm not exactly the maker of Star Wars. Now this line, this part here, actually extends outside of this crosshair, outside of this target shape, just a little bit. We've got a small divider there, and then if you want to get really, really detailed, there's three lines here. I guess they're kind of like vents or grips for opening this compartment. And then there's a groove here and a line fitting into the end of it. Now just below, I say below, it's kind of below, but it's a sphere, so really what is below? <laughs> but we've got uh, we've got four lines sticking out. One kind of rests on the edge of this uh, this target shape here. And then the other three just kind of sit snugly underneath. Now continuing from here, we've got a groove that comes around here and then dips into that orange ring. That orange ring is kind of gonna, gonna be the centerpiece for a lot of the details here, if you hadn't already guessed. We've got this predator shaped kind of uh, three dots here. Again, not really sure what that's there for, but I didn't design BB-8, so you can't ask me. <laughs> We've got a small bit here. It's kind of like a, I don't really know what to call that other than a groove, because I don't know what it does. And then there's another line sitting here and then a groove that follows along this ring and just kind of sits down there. So this ring is pretty much done at this point, you'll be pleased to know, but we're gonna be using it as a reference point for the other shapes on BB-8's body. So as you can see, I'm just gonna just gonna tidy up my circle a tiny bit here so things are a bit nicer for you to look at and uh, get that shape right there. We also don't really need this middle uh, guideline anymore, so if it's bothering you, you can actually get rid of that. So I'm gonna, just tidy this up a bit more, get rid of the uh, overlapping lines there. You don't have to do that, it might be easier for you to continue working with those there, but I'm just erasing them for the sake of clarity. So following from about this point here, there's a line, there's a groove that comes across here and it touches the edge of an even larger ring that's going to be going off this side over here. So this might be a bit tricky, but if you've uh, been practicing your 3D shapes, this might be a little bit easier for you than the rest of us. But you've got basically this big curve, and again, you need to do your best to get this kind of shape here, that this is 3D, it's kind of wrapping around the side of the sphere. Very, very tricky, it takes a lot of practice to get right. I mean, I still don't get it right to this day, and I've been drawing for longer than I care to admit. But basically, all you want to do is try and get this impression that there's a ring on this side of the uh, of this side of BB-8's body, and it is a tad bit bigger than this ring that we drew initially. So mercifully, we don't have to draw a lot of this ring because it's placed at the side of the body, but we do need to draw that crosshair shape there. There's a ring inside it, remember? And there is another part of that crosshair just kind of poking in at the side there. Now, there's a gray panel sitting between these two parts of the crosshair, these, these, this kind of targeting symbol. 
here. We don't have to add too much in the way of detail here because it's kind of going off the side and we naturally wouldn't be able to see much of it, but there is just a small groove there. There are three lines here at the bottom end of this uh, part of the ring. And now what we're missing is a dot here, a dot right below that, and a dot here near the three uh, lines that we just drew. And there is actually one here nearer the head as well. I think those are things that you would use to um, to unscrew BB-8 and open them up and have a look inside. I mean, what else can those little dots be for anyway? So there's a groove going down there and there's a groove going down here. And guess what those reach? That's right, we've got another one of these situations going on. We're not, we've got another ring going on. So this ring is kind of big again. I think it's the same size as the one on the right. And do your best to get that kind of idea that it's wrapping around. It's got that kind of round shape. I actually don't think I've made mine big enough, so I'm going to do that again. Okay, just kind of curving like that. And then a smaller one inside, just to get that ring shape rather than it being a solid orange uh, circle. So there's a bit of a, a sticky out orange bit here again, but in the reference picture there actually isn't a circle in that one, so I'm actually going to leave that one out. And there we go, there's another one there. There's a grey panel resting between these, much like this one, but it's actually just a just a straight up grey panel, there's no funny details on that one from what I can see. And then we've got a groove coming out over here, sticks out a little bit, and then comes back towards the ring we were just working on. There's three lines setting inside there. Then there's another one of those small bolt-like circles there. We've missed one off just over here and one that's just there. Now, let me just get rid of that little sticky out line there. We have actually got a little bit more work to do right here at the bottom if you're feeling up for it. We've got a circle of grey stuff and uh, I've, I've given up trying to give the stuff names because who knows what half this stuff does anyway. And there we go, we just draw some little stripes in because it's not all grey, there's little bits of white sticking along it. And there we go, if you just draw a groove here and there's another groove here, there you go, you've got a very detailed drawing of BB-8 here, looking good. So uh, go over it with your Sharpie. I would recommend actually if you've got just a normal kind of biro or a pen or something thinner than a biro, um, sorry, something thinner than a Sharpie, because you've got all these tiny little details that you want to get right, and a Sharpie's really not going to help you capture those. I mean, you can go over it with, your, with a Sharpie if you want. It'll have a very cartoony look, and you'll have to lose some of these lovely details. Um, so it's up to you what you go over your sketch with, um, but I would recommend something uh, thinner like a fine liner if you really want to capture all these lovely little details that we've drawn in. So I'm going to do just that, um, so I'll see you in a moment. What can I say? BB-8 is looking ready to roll. They see me rolling, they hate it. Silliness aside, I hope you enjoyed that video. I had a great time making it as always, and let me know what you'd like to learn to draw next in the comments below. If you haven't already, also you might want to go ahead and join the Discord channel. It's free and it's easy. All you need to do is hit the link below and you can be in the community today. There's another thing, if you haven't already subscribed yet, come on, you, you know you want to support the channel, hit subscribe and roll over that bell while you're at it. It helps the channel a lot if you like this video as well, so I'd really, really appreciate it if you do. And that's all for now guys, thanks and until next time.